Hello all you amazing people and remember you're always amazing because you clicked on this one YouTube's video because I'm at 542 subscribers. I literally just checked and I thought it was 537 now we're at 542. Thank you guys so much. And yeah, I'm going to be reviewing Daluk and Fischl's skin. Totally not because I recorded an hour of Tower of Fantasy that's going up in two hours after this video. Not at all. First of all, I would like to say that this skin looks already just amazing. Um, it keeps, like, Fischl's look, right? She's, you know, this outfit keeps Fischl's look, right? It's basically just more added to her original outfit, which is a bad thing in the same rank. So it's a positive and a negative, because it's literally just the same, but a little bit spiced up. And, oh my god, they switched the what was lower here. Um, yeah, cool. <laughs> I don't understand why that mattered. But, you know, they switched it around, um, and they turned it pretty white, I would say. But I feel like, honestly, if Fischl could dress up, I feel like this would fit her character perfectly. If she could dress up however she wanted, this would be how she dresses up. Because this is the way she talks, this is the way she basically plays. Um, I feel like all she did was make this dress super fancy. Now, in terms of skin tiers I, I still think that ning wong and kaching are better than this skin um i those two skins are clearly the best to me the ning wong and kaching skins they they are the best i would say the official skin is going probably below Diluc. so we have ning wong kaching Diluc, and then official and then jean and barbara i would say jean's probably a front of barbara um barbara's skin just wasn't that good um all they really did was put the more vibrant purple and you know it definitely it fits her but it's not like a complete overhaul like sort of how Daluk is now Daluk is um l let's just say it looks almost completely different i mean it's got the same like coat model but i mean that's about it other than that you know they're separating this thing they have this sort of same thing but they it's separated it's not basically the exact same thing i just i feel like this one is a lot better and i mean for some reason there's no vision on it they said maybe we would find out why and i'm assuming maybe it's because he was younger then but um they definitely is he taller did they make him taller um i don't know but his hair they changed his hair to be longer whereas official it wasn't really too much of a hair change um and overall, I just think this outfit is a, like, direct improvement over this. Because this is too, like, piratey for my taste. Like, all the cuffs and things. Like, he's got things that, like, it literally looks like he's a pirate. It, like, I don't know. However, this looks more fancy, and I feel like this is more of a suit-like thing. It's not really, um, it doesn't really look like he would, you'd be using, like, a, like, one of those curved giant swords, you know? He would be using an actual sword. Also, the effects get changed whenever you're using Diluc skin, which is, the effects look better, I would say. Um, it is sort of like a 50-50. It doesn't really matter. Like, it doesn't look, like, super distinguishable. But I'm pretty sure that Fischl's stay the same. Like, Fischl's effects here, they, they stay the same completely. Yeah, they completely stay the same. Um, but, I mean, even looking at this in just regular setting, like, yeah. It, it, it is literally just the same official i mean it's a four star skin they don't put a lot of effort into these skins but i mean they did put a lot of effort into that deluxe skin he even has a new idol animation which is just pretty great i don't know if he, you can see it on this i mean i'm pretty sure that that is a idol animation he already had i'm pretty sure he pulls out a scroll at some point maybe we can see the idol animation uh, while i'm sitting here and talking but i mean this deluxe skin has a lot about it and i mean it just looks yeah here he's about to pull out the scroll yeah it's just they gave him new idol animations like a whole bunch of new stuff whereas no other character actually got this um which is what makes it a legendary skin just saying the price for this is just way too much it 1980 really that is a whole multi so not only are you gonna pull for Diluc, which is however many it's he's never been featured on a banner so you were never able to guarantee it so you could have pulled 500 pulls for one Diluc, and then you buy a whole nother multi just for his skin. Yeah, the price I'm not a fan of, especially since the price going up is going to be 2,480. That's almost two multis. That's a multi and a half, basically. Personally, I think skins, unless you're a whale, are just a waste. Like, you shouldn't be buying the skins at all. Like, it doesn't make sense why you would want to buy the skins, because, I mean... Would you rather try and get yourself higher pity? Because these are already a multi. So let's say you bought every single skin, but, you know, you you got these two for free, right? 
so let's just say here we have 15 and then 35 36 because these two 80s will have another pull um that much is a little too much if you're asking me 36 pulls it's not good <laughs> it's not good because once eventually the official skin and if, if you don't summon on these then you have 58 pulls if, if you didn't have these then you have 58 pulls you're almost we're like right there at a five star if you want to buy all these skins so yeah uh would i recommend buying these skins not at all so yeah that's gonna be it for this video make sure to subscribe i'm gonna go get to editing tower of fantasy and bye, bye.